Anything else? Welcome to class. So I had a pretty clear intention of what I wanted to talk about today. And then I caffeinated myself and I was like in a good mood. And then I was like, I don't want to bring that downer intention. And then I was like, wait, Nikki, like you still need to talk about it. You know, like just because you're like in a happy mood doesn't mean like, no, actually, no, not going to go there. So we're going to go there. Um, one of the things I was warned about when I was traveling and particularly when I was in Kathmandu um has anyone ever been to Kathmandu in Nepal um is I was encouraged to not I was discouraged from walking the streets at night the city streets in Kathmandu are really narrow and they're very curvy so you like don't know what could like pop out on the next curve around and uh me being me I did it anyways <laughs> And, but I did it with a lot of fear. I was really afraid. Like every time, like there was a, cur a curve in the street, I was like, oh God, what's around the corner? What's around? And I felt so much fear for myself, for my own safety, for my own health. And the funny thing is, one of the scariest things I saw in turning one of those corners was a young child eating out of a garbage can. And that image is forever imprinted in my brain. Like, it's not going anywhere for this entire lifetime. And it really awoken something in me because I was like, wow, I was so, here I was, so afraid for my own safety and, and health and well-being. And because of the shadows of the night. And here it is, the shadow of humanity emerging from the shadows of the night. Whew. And that's a huge part of why I designed Reunify the way I designed Reunify with the Seva donations and self, save selfless service being a huge part of what this is because you guys, we're living a really privileged life. We are. Look, we're literally a block, two blocks from the beach. Like you can go dip your toes in the ocean right now after this class. We're living a really privileged life and it's a beautiful thing, but we can exercise our privilege to help others. We can choose to do that. We can choose to just coast and be like, no, I'm in a good mood, so I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to look at that image. Or we can be like, you know what? I know that I have the energy, the love, the financial security to take action, so I'm going to. And I'm going to make a change. So that's today's intention. Don't look away from the shadows of humanity. You are a conscious human. You're here practicing yoga. You know how to tap into your source of unconditional love. Look directly at the shadows of humanity. How else are we going to shine light into darkness? Okay. Hmm. So we're going to do a specific ratio of breath. Five second inhale, 10 second exhale, and I'll lengthen the exhales as we go, okay? Sit up straight. Bring your shoulders above your hips. And close your eyes. First, just notice your natural breath. If you've been practicing yoga for a while, you've probably taken a lot of time to look at your own trauma. Part of the path of union, the path of yoga, is to look at collective traumas as well. Looking at some of your own traumas has probably inspired you to take action to change certain aspects, certain relationships in your life. 
What does looking at the collective trauma inspire you to do? Wherever you are on your breath, take a complete exhale through both nostrils, emptying out. Inhale, fill the lungs to the top in five, four, three, two, one. Hold full. Controlled exhale to the bottom, equal releases of air. Exhale for 10, nine. So each second you're releasing the same amount of air. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold empty. Inhale to the top in five. Belly fills up first. Three, one, hold full. Really controlled, exhale to the bottom in 15. So smaller releases of air. 13, 12, 11. The breath is barely leaving the body. Nine, eight, seven. You're still exhaling. Five. Four, three, two, one, hold empty. Inhale to the top in five. Really take in big breaths with each second. Two, one, hold full. Slowest one yet, exhale to the bottom in 20. You're at 10, still releasing. Slow it down if you need to. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold empty, even if you're slightly uncomfortable. Just holding empty for a few seconds of your life. Then take a deep, uncontrolled inhale through the nose, filling the lungs up. And an open mouth exhale. Seal your lips and establish a rhythmic breath in and out of both nostrils. If you're tuning into the live stream at home, you can reach over and start up the playlist now. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach both arms high. Exhale, take it up and over to the right. Right elbow bends as much as you'd like. Draw your low belly in, extend through the left arm. If this feels better in your body, stay here. If you wanna get a little tricep stretch, bend the left elbow, press the left palm into your upper back and lean your head back as you look underneath the left armpit. So up to you, left elbow can be bent or left arm can be straight. Breathe into your left side body. Slow, steady inhales and exhales. Let the breath be a major part of your practice. Keep the right arm where it is, but extend it. Inhale your left arm high, spine back into neutral. Exhale, left hand to the right side of the head. Pull your left ear down towards your left shoulder. Reach through each and every finger on the right hand. You can have the fingertips rooted or you can hover them in space. For me, I feel may way more when I'm hovering the fingertips in space. Now breathe into the right side of the neck and you can even play with rotating the shoulder in one direction, turning the thumb to point behind you. 
in the other direction and just kind of finding a place where you're like, yep, my body needs that and then diving into it. When we bring our awareness to something, it shows up more and more within the body and within our external circumstances so that we can learn the lessons we need to learn and take the actions we need to take. Choose to be present with today's intention and see what comes up in the body. Inhale, both arms high, lengthen, head back in neutral. Exhale, take it up and over to the left. Bend that left elbow as much as, you, as much as you'd like. Extend through the right arm. If you'd like the tricep stretch, bend your right elbow, bring the palm to the upper back. Lean your head back and then look underneath that armpit. Both sits bones are rooted. Don't let the rib cage splay out. Draw the low belly in and feel the breath move through your side body. Nice breath, I hear it. Keep the right, the left hand where it is. Inhale, spine back into neutral, right arm high. Exhale, right hand to the left side of the head. Pull your right ear down towards your right shoulder and then reach through each and every finger on the left hand. You can either root the fingertips or hover them in space. Feel the texture of the breath in the throat. Feel the attachments at the neck between jawline and collarbone. Choose to feel it all, the comfortable, the uncomfortable, the expansive and the limiting. Don't push certain things away and pull other things in. Invite it all into your field of awareness. Inhale, up through center, both arms high, neck back into neutral. Exhale, roll over your shins, come into a tabletop position. Stack your shoulders above your wrists and your hips above the knees. Inhale, extend your right leg back. Exhale, extend your left arm forward. And then bend your right knee, flex the bottom of the right foot up towards the ceiling. Inhale, open up your left arm into a twist. And maybe you stay right here, just squeezing the right glute. Maybe you reach the left arm back and capture the pinky edge side of your right foot with your left hand. If that binds in your practice, press through the right palm, left shin, and then kick into the left palm. You can always play with the direction of your chin to get a stretch in the neck. Breathe here. If you're feeling wobbly, engage the low belly. And press with the foundation. Kels, you can bring your right hand back a few inches so your shoulder is above your wrist. Yes. Breathe. Inhale to extend left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, left palm down, right knee to nose. Round through the back body, tuck the chin. Carve out space underneath the chest. Press through the fingertips. Press through the left shin. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Right knee is stacked over right ankle. Left shin is rooted. Do not relax your legs. Pull your right heel towards your left knee and your left knee towards your right heel so you feel the back of the right leg engage, the left inner thigh engage. And then inhale, both arms high. 
engage the low belly, interlace all 10 fingers, and then bend your elbows, bring your palms to the back of your head. Inhale, lift the center of the chest up. Exhale, reach the elbows wide and lean back. Keep dragging your left knee forward without actually moving your shin. Breathe into your upper chest. Feel heat build in the body as you engage your foundation. Inhale, spine to neutral. Tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. Squeeze your left glute, your left butt cheek. Press through the right heel, encourage the right hip back. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Forearms frame the face. You can stay at dead center, allowing gravity to pull the elbows down. Or you can tilt your chin over to the right, stretching the back left side of the neck. As you tilt the chin over to the right, pull the right hip back. Stay involved with your foundation. Yes, breathe. Whenever we feel really heady, really helpless, and all over the place, a great medicine is just feeling your feet rooted beneath you. Our lower chakras are the place from which we can take action. We can bring thoughts and ideas manifested into the physical world. First, bring the chin back to center if you have it tilted to the right. Inhale, extend both arms high. Palms face each other. Look up. Exhale, hands down to frame your right foot. Nice breath, you guys. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Halfway lift. Roll the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, sweep your arms back. And interlace your fingers at your low back. Inhale, draw the knuckles back. Crown forward. And then exhale, bend the knees. Bow forward. If you feel a little more stable to have the feet hip-width distant apart, wiggle them out to hip-width distant apart. As you exhale, bend your left knee and drop your left shoulder down towards the left knee. Breathe. Keep your legs as they are, left knee bent, right leg straight. Inhale, halfway lift in the chest. Exhale, bring your fists over to the left hip. Pull your left elbow back. And then twist at your mid-spine. Look over the right shoulder. If you prefer to focus on the twist, keep looking over the right shoulder. If you prefer to focus on the neck, drop the gaze down towards the ground. And lengthen the space between right jawline, right collarbone. Maintaining the twist in the spine. Breathe. Through a halfway lift, inhale both legs straight, knuckles back, crown forward. Exhale, release the arms down, bow forward. Inhale, rise up to standing, Urdhva Hastasana, full body extension. Press through the feet, reach up through the fingertips, and enjoy what it is to create length in your body. What it is to have the freedom to take up space, pressing the feet down, reaching the hands up into the sky. Yeah, some of our liberties were taken from us in these last few months of quarantine, right? We didn't even get to practice yoga in a room full of people. Feeling the joy, it is, the joy that comes with having freedom again and feeling that desire within yourself that everyone has that same sort of freedom, that same sort of liberal expression. Take an inhale, lengthen from toes to fingers. Exhale, bow forward, prayer palms through the midline. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, fingertips up the shins. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Inhale on your high plank, Kastabandha, press the fingertips down. Exhale, drop your knees down to the ground. Inhale, your left leg straight back, flex the left foot. Exhale, your right arm straight forward, thumb points up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, bend your left knee first, just flexing your left foot upward. And then inhale, sweep the right arm up towards the ceiling, opening up to a twist. You can stay right here, twisting at the mid spine, or you can sweep your right arm back and grab the pinky edge side of your left foot. If you have the foot, kick into the palm. Keep the low belly engaged. The breath moving through the right side of the chest, the left quadricep. Nice breath. Yeah, bring it. Inhale, extend right arm forward, left leg back, lengthen, create traction along the spine. Exhale, right palm down, left knee to nose. Supported tiger pose. Round through the back body. Pull the belly button up and in. Press into the palms. Tuck the chin tightly. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Heel, then toe. Before you rise up, drag your left heel towards your right shin, right shin towards the left heel. Feel the legs engaged, and then inhale, rise. Supported crescent, supported anjaneyasana. Squeeze inner thighs, left hip back, right hip forward. Lengthen through the arms, interlace all 10 fingers. On an exhale, bend your elbows, palms to the back of the head. Inhale, lift belly button to chest, chest to chin. Exhale, lean your head back. Continuously drag the right knee forward as you lift the center of the chest up. Yes. Full intention in your action. Even if it's just the yoga pose, right? There can be so much that's experienced in a yoga pose if it has all of your awareness. Inhale, spine back to neutral. Tuck the right toes and lift the right knee. Squeeze your right glute. Encourage the left hip back. Inhale, neutral, long spine. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Forearms frame the face. Keep your low belly in. And you can stay at center or you can begin to rotate the, left, the chin towards the left. Stretching the back right side of the neck. Know that whenever we add on these upper body variations, it's with the assumption that your foundation is strong and sturdy. Front knee stacked over front ankle, back leg active and strong. Yeah, the sweet patience that comes with Hatha, right? <laughs> if you have that chin over to the left, bring it back to the center of the chest. Inhale, extend the arms. Palms face each other. Look up. Exhale, hands down to frame your left foot. Inhale, step the right foot up, either hip width, distant apart, or next to the left. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, sweep the arms back, airplane arms. Awkward interlace of the fingers with the low back. So other thumb on top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow forward. Breathe here. Take a pretty sturdy bend to the knees and then add an extra bend to the right knee, dropping the right shoulder down. Relax your head and neck. Create space between the earlobes and the tops of the shoulders. Breathe, everybody breathe, not just one or two of you. <laughs> Keep the legs just as they are, right knee bent, left leg pretty straight. Inhale, halfway lift in the chest. Exhale, swing those fists over to the right hip. Pull your right elbow back and then begin to twist at your mid spine. Mid spine twist. You can look over the left shoulder to encourage a deeper twist. You can look down towards the right pinky toe to encourage a stretch in the neck. If you look down, maintain the twist with awareness. Create space between left jawline, left collarbone. Mm-hmm, inhale through center, halfway lift, legs straight, knuckles back, crown forward, 
Exhale, fold and release the arms down. Inhale, rise up, Urdhva Hastasana, full body extension. Everything up. The feet can be together or hip width distant apart. That's up to you. Just make sure they're parallel. Press the feet down. Lengthen inner thighs intentionally. Lengthen outer thighs intentionally. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, prayer palms through your midline. Fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips up the shins. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back to a high plank. Fingers spread as wide as you can. It almost kind of feels like the webbing between the fingers is stretched. Take an inhale. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, hips up and back. First down dog of practice. Feel it out. Really work on lengthening the spine first, even if that means bending the knees slightly. Then work towards lengthening the legs, pressing the heels down and lifting the kneecaps up. If there are certain movements you like to take in your first down dog that create more freedom in your body, then take them. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, bend your right knee and stack your right hip over your left. So opening up your pelvis towards the ocean. Encourage the right shoulder down. If you prefer to just let the right foot dangle in space, you can. If you prefer to take circles with the knee, do it. Switching the direction of those circles if you're taking them. Take another inhale, right thigh long. Exhale, right knee to nose, tiger pose. Draw the right knee in, stack your shoulders above your wrist. Neutral pelvis, squeeze the knee into the nose, press through the fingertips. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Pyramid stance, back foot at a 45 degree angle. Left toes point to the top left corner of your mat. Root the left heel down. Inhale, straighten the front leg and lengthen your spine. Exhale, bow over your right leg. So you can always use your left hand to check in with your low back and make sure it's flat across. If your palms are rooted and there's maybe even a bend to the elbows, you can intensify this posture by reaching one hand for the back leg or maybe both hands for the back leg. Please listen to your body. Don't force anything. If the hands don't, don't quite make it to the ground, you can take a slight bend to the front knee or you can rest your hands on your front shin, whatever feels better for you. Keep the breath flowing. Don't shy away from any kind of discomfort that arises in your practice. I'm not trying to go on a love and light spiel, but really the foundations of yoga philosophy say the truest essence of self, pure consciousness, is unconditional love. Can you bring that into your body? Start there. Inhale, lift the chest slightly halfway. Exhale, bend the front knee, setting up for a warrior one stance. If you need to, you can bring the back foot in a few inches. Inhale, rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Left hip forward, right hip back. So the hips are squared to the front. If you feel like, oh, there's no way I'm squaring my hips to the front, you can step the right foot over to the right a few inches and then encourage the left hip forward. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, grab opposite forearms or opposite elbows at your low back. Opposite forearms or opposite elbows. Now use the forearms to press into the low back, lengthen it, and then lift your chest up. Inhale. Exhale, take the gaze along the ceiling as you bend low into the front knee. Draw your low belly in. Lift the heart higher. Really root down through your right foot. Take an inhale here. 
Exhale straight into an airplane pose. Keep your arms as they are. Press down through the right heel. Lift your left heel up to hips height. Dial your left hip down so the left pinky toe is pointing down to the ground. Now, if you already have the wobble, stay here. If you want to create a deeper stretch in the shoulders, create space between your forearms and your low back. So lift the forearms up towards the ceiling. It's okay to take a slight bend to the right knee to dial your left hip down. Breathe. Core engaged, right heel pressing down. On an exhale, release the hands down to the ground and cross your left leg behind your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, sweep your arms back and interlace all 10 fingers. Inhale, draw the knuckles back, the crown forward. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down towards the ground. Breathe. The left shoulder should be closer to the ground than the right. Nice adjustment. Inhale, halfway lift, knuckles back, crown forward. Exhale, release the arms down, folding directly forward over the cross legs. And then take a slight bend if you, to the knees if you need to, and then inhale, rise up to standing, arms up and overhead. On an exhale, bend your left elbow. You have two options here. You can grab the left elbow with the right hand. If you have an easy full bind, nice and open shoulders, must be nice, you can extend the right arm by your side, turn the right thumb down, and wrap it around to clasp the fingers. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hips to the left, take it up and over to the right. Press firmly through both feet. Good. Go to your edge. Inhale, up through center. One-legged Tadasana, but the left knee is going to bend up to hips height. So arms high. Make sure the right foot is parallel to the side edge of the mat. Then use the core to pull the left knee up towards the armpit. And then bring it into center. One-legged Tadasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, standing figure four. Arms are an extension. Exhale, left ankle to right thigh. Prayer, palms to heart. I'm going to give you a few options here. If you're craving heat in your practice, extend your arms, palms to me, elbows bend, thumbs to the back of the skull, lean your head back and bow your chest forward. If you're not craving heat at all, you can bring your hands down to the ground, down to blocks if you brought your own or if you have some at home. You choose. Sit the hips down and back, weight in the right heel. Flex your left foot. So curl the left toes back towards the left knee. Even if you're a little afraid of balancing, a little afraid of white, what might happen if you fail, can you still breathe deeply? Can you continuously return to center? Inhale, rise up, one-legged Tadasana, arms high, left knee bends up to hips height. Exhale, left foot down, fold all the way forward, prayer palms through the midline. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips up the shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Inhale in your high plank, hustha bandha, press the fingertips down. Exhale, hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breathe in your down dog. Inhale, left leg extends behind you. Three-legged. Exhale, bend your left knee, stack your left hip over your right. Now encourage the left shoulder down towards the ground. 
And if you choose, you can let gravity just kind of pull on the left heel or you can take big circles with the left knee. Sometimes we take action out of habit. And then we realize, oh wait, that doesn't actually feel that good. I've just done that a thousand times. Can you redirect your course if you realize that within your body? Take an inhale, elongating the left thigh. Exhale, left knee to nose. Round through the back body. Press through the fingertips. Lift your right heel as high as you can. Inhale to look forward. Exhale to step forward. Pyramid pose. Back foot at a 45. Shorten your stance. Front leg straight. Inhale, spine elongates. Exhale, bow over the left leg. Even though your torso is leaning forward, you still want to be active through the back foot. Press through the back heel. If you did so on the other side, you can reach one or both hands for the back leg. Using the grip of the back leg, leg to pull yourself into a deeper fold. Can you picture the way your breath moves through, the, through this shape? Can you imagine what, what it is that you're bringing in, what it is that you're letting go of? Yes to the breath in here. Those of you with the back leg bound, release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift in the chest. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, rise up, Vira Badrasana 1, shortening the stands if you need to. Front knee is bent. Back foot is still at a 45. Press with the pinky edge side of the right foot to encourage the right hip back. So if you move into this posture and immediately you kind of fall into the pinky edge side of your left foot, that means your body wants to take the left foot over. So take it over. Active back leg. Deep bend to the front knee. Low belly in. Inhale. Exhale, grab opposite forearm or elbow. Notice which one it is to grab, which, how natural it is to grab one first and then switch. Use the forearms to press into the low back and lengthen it. Lengthening the rib cage, creating space between each rib. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, take the gaze back as you lunge low into the front knee. Breathe. Feel the groundedness of the left foot. Take an inhale through the front midline of the body. Exhale, press through the left heel and lean forward. Use the right glute to lift your right heel up to hips height. Engage the low belly, reach the crown forward. If you're already having a hard time with balance, stay as you are. If you wanna get a deeper shoulder stretch, create space between your forearms and your low back by using the strength of the shoulders to lift the forearms up towards the ceiling. Press through the left heel, flex the right foot, breathe deeply. You can do this. Take another inhale. Exhale, release both hands down. Cross the right leg behind the left. Pinky toe edge to pinky toe edge. Inhale, halfway lift in the chest, sweep the arms back. Exhale, interlace all 10 fingers, draw your knuckles back, and then dip the right shoulder down. You can relax your head and neck here or intentionally play with the direction of your chin. It's okay to take a slight bend to both knees, especially if you have the wobbles. Good. Deepening the fold with every exhale. Utilize your inhales and exhales according to their qualities, right? Inhales expansive, exhales surrendering. Inhale, halfway lift, spine neutral, knuckles back, crown forward. Exhale, release the arms down, forward fold through center. Bend the knees as much as you need to to rise up stably. Inhale, rise up, reach the arms up and overhead. 
Two options here. You can exhale, bend the right elbow and grab it with the left hand. If you have the full bind, reach the left arm out, turn the thumb down and then wrap it around. Left shoulder in an inter internal rotation. Inhale, right elbow high. Exhale, hips to the right as you take the elbow up and over to the left. Did you guys stop breathing there? I know sometimes we hold a lot of tension and emotion in our shoulders. Breathe to clear that space out. Know that you're capable of envisioning that and accomplishing it. Press down through both feet. Engage your low belly, belly. Take the deepest lateral bend yet. Inhale up through center. Re reach both arms high. Make sure your left foot is parallel to the side edge of the mat and then bend your right knee out and then in front of you to hips height. Take an inhale. Lengthen through the side bodies. Exhale. Standing figure four. Right ankle to left thigh. Start with just the prayer palms of the heart. Bending your left knee. Even if you took a different variation on the other side, that's fine. Listen to your body here right now. If you want something a little more intense, extend the arms forward, palms meet to bend your elbows, thumbs to the back of the skull. Inhale to lean your head back. Exhale to bow the chest forward. Another option is to bring the hands all the way down to the ground or down to blocks. Every exhale, sit your weight into your left heel, send the hips down and back. See that even within your body, the experience of discomfort is expansion, is growth, is increased flexibility. Flex the right foot. Go to your edge. Inhale, rise up, one-legged Tadasana, reach the arms high, bend the right knee forward, flex the right foot. Exhale, right foot down, fold all the way forward, prayer palms through the midline, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, fingertips at the shins. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Inhale in your high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Inhales, length through the spine. Exhales, length through the legs. Inhales, rootedness in the palms. Exhales, grounded through the feet. On an exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, rise up, one-legged Tadasana. Right knee bends up to hips height, reach the arms high. Exhale, preparing for Natarajasana. Right elbow into your right side. Swing the right leg back and grab the big toe edge side of the right foot. Point the knee straight down. Know that you can stay here if you feel a strong stretch in the chest or the quadriceps. If you want more, inhale, lift the chest up, and exhale, begin to kick back into the right palm. Observe the breath. And only go to a place where the breath can steadily flow. And bring that flow of breath into the places that feel blocked. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, pull the right knee through, reach the arms high. Exhale, right foot down, hip width distant apart from the left, fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. 
Exhale, walk your hands all the way out to a high plank. Inhale, left leg hovers in your high plank. Exhale, left knee to nose, tiger pose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Rotate the right heel down. Inhale, open up Virabhadrasana 2. If you were to draw a line from left heel, it would intersect the right arch. Sink the hips low, dial your right hip down, and gaze over your left middle finger. I was going to say other left, Kelsey, and then I realized your hair was just in front of your face. <laughs> Bend the front knee, press to the pinky edge side of the right foot. On an exhale, grab opposite elbows behind you. And then I want you to drop your chin to the chest and take a slow head roll in one direction. If there feels like there's somewhere worth stopping, stop there. Take a slow head roll in the other direction. On an inhale, re-extend the arms, look over the left shoulder. Exhale, hands down to frame your left foot. Tuck the right toes. Inhale, standing half splits. Walk your hands forward, create an F shape in the body. Extend the right leg out behind you. Exhale, root firmly through the right palm or right fingertips. You can bend the left knee or bring a block underneath the right hand if you have one. Inhale, your left arm high, Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. Ooh, for some of us, that left IT man has a little something to say about this. If that's the case, you can chill out right here. I'm going to give you a few options. If you want to bring a stretch into the left shoulder, wrap your left forearm to your low back. If you really want to take a fancy schmancy intermediate posture, you can bend the right knee, reach the left hand back for the pinky edge side of the right foot, and take like a revolve dancers. Revolve Japasana. Know your body, know what's best for you. Roll the left shoulder blade down and back if you have the bind of the foot. Kick into the palm. You still breathing? Inhale, reach the left arm straight forward, the right leg straight back. Create traction along the spine. Exhale, left palm down, right knee to nose. Round through the back body, tuck the chin. Inhale, right foot down, halfway lift in the chest, fingertips up the shins. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Inhale in your high plank, really feeling your weight in your palms. Exhale, downward facing dog. On an exhale, walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the legs, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold completely. Root down through the right foot, inhale, rise up, one-legged tadasana on the other side, left knee bends up to hip height. Exhale, left elbow into your side. Grab the big toe edge side of the left foot and point the knee straight down. You can stay here, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, kick back into the palm. Continuously dial your left hip down, don't let it splay out to the side just so you feel like you have a deeper dancer's pose. Keep the heart space lifted and open. Challenge yourself to come to a new edge. Unless we have a new sense of awareness, it's very rare that we learn something new from something familiar. So either shifting your state of mind or taking the asana into a deeper variation, taking the action into a deeper variation. Go all the way to your edge, you can do it, with determination. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, arms high, left knee through to hips height. Exhale, stamp the left foot down, hip width distant apart from the right, and bow all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, walk your hands forward to a high plank. Inhale, your right leg hovers, squeeze the right glute, the right butt cheek. Exhale, right knee into your nose, tiger pose. Press through the palms. Lift the back heel. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, heel and toe, step forward. Rotate the back heel down, warrior two stance, windmill the arms up and open, Virabhadrasana two. 
Bend the front knee, front hip in external rotation, and then look over your right middle finger. First few rounds of breath in traditional, establishing the strength of the legs. And really feeling what it is to shift your awareness inward. On an exhale, grabbing opposite elbow or opposite forearm. And then drop your chin to your chest and take a slow head roll in one direction. If it feels like you want to stop somewhere, stop somewhere. Once your chin makes it back to the chest, slow head roll in the other direction. On an inhale, re-extend the arms, look over the right middle finger. Exhale, hands down to frame the right foot, tuck your left toes. Inhale, standing half splits, walk your hands forward, extend your left leg, heel back at hip height. Good, exhale, root firmly down through the left palm. Inhale, Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana, right arm high, opening up to a twist. If this is already a lot of sensation for you, I don't want you to add on anymore. I want you to do the work here and notice what you feel here. If you want to take a shoulder stretch, wrap your right forearm to your low back. If you want to take the most intense variation, bend your left knee, reach back, and grab the pinky edge side of your left foot. Kicking into the right palm for a reverse chapasana, a reverse uh, revolved sugar cane. Breathe. Work to deepen the breath. You can do this. It's just a few seconds of your life. Put in the work to become aware in an uncomfortable situation. To choose to rest in the heart space rather than looking away or pushing away. Release the bind of the foot. Inhale, right arm forward, left leg straight back. Reach in opposites, create that traction. Exhale, right palm down to the ground, left knee in towards the nose. Inhale, step your left foot down. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips up the shins. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Inhale on your high plank. Exhale into your final downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Grateful to have put in the work. Feeling a new sense of strength, of openness in the body. And remembering that it usually turns out that way when it feels like a struggle. On an exhale, drop the knees down to the mat. Cross at the ankles and roll back over the shins so you come into a cross-legged seat. And root both feet down onto the mat. Turn your palms face up. And exhale, slowly lower down onto your back body. Mm. You can just take a moment to feel your back body grounded, your feet grounded. And then bring your right ankle onto your left thigh. Both legs are, both legs are bent are rooted. Right ankle onto left thigh. Interlace your fingers at the back of the left knee and draw your left knee into your chest. If you feel nothing here, first I want you to try to use the right elbow to press the right knee away. If you still feel, feel very little here, I want you to cradle your right shin in your arms and extend your left leg down and out. Close your eyes and begin to draw your senses inward. Sometimes when we witness something outside of ourselves that creates an intense emotional upheaval, we don't even take the time to look in. When these are our golden moments, these are the moments to say, whoa, 
where did that come from and why do I feel this way? Why do I feel separate from the true self, separate from unconditional love? And what work can I do to get back to that feeling, to remember that sense of I amness? Release the grip at the back of the left knee. Root the left foot down. Root the right foot down. And just sway the knees side to side a few times. Come back to center. Left ankle onto right thigh. Interlace your fingers the back of the right knee and draw your right knee into your chest. For a deeper stretch option to use your left elbow to press the left knee away as you pull the left shin in. For an even deeper stretch, cradle your left shin in your arms and extend the right leg down and out. You know your body. Do what serves you best in your process of growth rather than what serves you best in your process of comfort. Release the grip at the back of the right knee. Root the right foot down. Root the left foot down. Slide both legs down and out. Straightening the legs in front of you. Pull your right knee in towards the right side of the chest and interlace your fingers the front of the right shin. Flex both feet and then press your right shin into your palms, peeling your upper back from the mat. Press your right shin into your palms, peeling your upper back of the mat. Tuck the chin to the chest, and you're pressing your right shin continuously forward. Breathe into the upper back. Take another inhale here. Exhale, wind removing pose. Pull your right knee up towards your right armpit. Press the back of the left thigh down. Release the grip of the right shin. Inhale, extend the right heel high. Exhale, lower the right heel out and down. Awkward interlace of your fingers at the front of the left shin. Now press your left shin into your palms. Your arms are straight until your upper back peels from the ground. Arms are straight. Left shin is pressing. Flex both feet. Tuck the chin and breathe into the upper back. Big inhales into the back of the heart space. On an exhale, wind removing pose. Pull the left knee into the left armpit. Elbows are bent. Flex both feet. Press the back of the right thigh down and breathe into your left lower belly. Release the grip of the left shin. Inhale, extend the left heel high first, lengthening the leg. Maintain the length. Exhale, lower your left heel all the way down to the ground. Inhale, full body stretch. Reach the legs long. Reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, gather both knees into the chest. Curl up into a tight, tiny little ball. 
before you give yourself a squeeze, you know the deal. Inhale, fill the lungs all the way up to the top. And then hold at the top and squeeze your body in. Squeeze your body tight. Feel the lungs in expansion, pressing up against the body in contraction. Hold, squeeze, hold, squeeze. Feel every cell in the body drop in. Exhale, release to Shavasana, expand outward. Legs long, arms by the sides, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Natural breath, just let it go. Let go of control. It's okay to have the emotional reaction of dislike, discomfort, aversion, hate. As long as, as you can remember that that emotional re reaction doesn't define you. In fact, it's an obstacle for you to overcome with love. To overcome with love in order to re-embody love. So when I feel that discomfort, even if it's this, the slightest confrontation with a friend or if it's the most intense confrontation with the shadows of humanity, I really ask myself that question. How can I take action with love?
invite in a few deep breaths. A wave of awareness floods the body from the crown to the toe tips. And with that awareness, start to bring some wiggles back. Maybe circling the ankles, the wrists. Maybe a good amount of neck stuff today. Maybe turning the head side to side, feeling your brand new neck. And when you're ready, inhale, full body stretch. Yes, legs long, arms long. And then exhale, knees into your chest. Roll to your right side in a fetal position. Sometimes we're just not sure what action to take. Know that when you're in this state of awareness, prayer is an incredible gesture. Even if you don't believe in some sort of higher power, just praying to your own heart, your own heart space, to reveal what the next best step would be. Press up into a seat. Anjali Mudra, prayer palms at the heart center. I'm still getting high on these collective ohms. Let's all ohm together. Take a deep inhale to ohm. Stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you.